Hey everybody, I'm just checking in today. Um, I have a testimony. Um, I just want to glorify God today. Uh, he did something really awesome a couple weeks ago, and I was about to, I was able to get the um, the details today, and I'm super super stoked about it. I'm so excited. Um, some of you might know that on my page I had I had put glory to God. You know, there was a lady that had cancer that we prayed for, and I just I wanted to give y'all a little uh, more detail to it, and just kind of tell you the things I found out today that God did. It was just really cool. Um, so I work. Uh, with a wonderful lady, and she has a daughter who's my age. And um, I, I'd heard this, my friend, she has talked about how her husband had, had passed away um, from cancer several years ago. And um, so she told my mom the other day that her daughter had gone to um, the doctor, to the female doctor, and um, they told her that it looked like um, that she she they th they thought she had cancer she needed to come in for a biopsy the next few days uh so they scheduled that and um the holy spirit immediately was like yep you should go pray i'd already had these people on my heart but holy spirit was like yep you should go pray and so my mom you know she offered you know amber will come over there if y'all want to go pray and so brian and i we we went over and um i had been talking to god a little bit uh before we went over there and um he told me a couple things that I needed to tell her, uh, personal things. And so, um, you know, I just want to encourage everybody out there, um, when, when you're hearing these random thoughts, just, just step out in faith and, um, tell the people what God's telling you. So I don't know if you know, understand what this means, but God's telling me this. And, you know, it took a step of faith for me to, to, when we went over there to, to step out and tell her these things, cause they were pretty specific and, um, but I did it because I said, God, I'm going to trust that this is your voice. And um, as soon as I said it, the tears started rolling out of her eyes. And I knew that God had sent that message for her. And I knew that that was going to be um, a deep wound that he needed to heal. Because a lot of times uh, what we manifest in this flesh is something that's going on in the spirit. When we have spirit wounds, those need to be healed and cleansed by the blood of Jesus and his love. And once that is healed internally externally we can be healed as well and so we just we loved on her and 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 prayed for her and told her that when she got her results that she, she was not it was not going to be cancer that cancer has to bow to the name of jesus and it was bowing today that no matter what it was that would not be cancer in her body and you could just see the fear in her eyes and i said i know you're afraid god told me you're so afraid because you're thinking about your dad and that what if this passed down to you? And what if it passes down to your babies? And she was nodding her head, you know. And, you know, that, that was the thing with him, that once they finally went to the doctor to check it out, it was too late. It was, it was spread all over his body. And so I knew that, that she was wondering if that was going to be her fate as well. And so God just wanted to comfort her that I know what your, I know your fears. I know what you're worried about. I've already gone ahead of you, and I'm sending my servant here. To just encourage you that I hear, I hear your heart. And so we just administered the love of Jesus to her just for a few minutes. Um, and then we left. And so we knew that later that week she was going to get results. And so um, the next time I went to work, Linda is her mom's name. Uh, Linda was there. And uh, no, Linda was not there yet. <clears throat> and um, for I was there for a couple hours before her. And... Um, I kept seeing the, the daughter's face. I kept thinking about the daughter over and over and over and praying for her. And the whole time that I was praying for her, I kept hearing the words free and clear, free and clear, free and clear, free and clear. And it was like an echo in my spirit. It wouldn't leave me alone. I'm like, is this you, God, or is this me just trying to, is this you? And it just would not go away. Well, a couple hours after I've been at work, I turn around because I hear the door open, and it's the daughter walking through the door with her mom. She was dropping her off and decided to come in, and she was doing some work around the house and um, for our boss. And so I said, oh, my gosh, I'm so glad you're here. And um, I said, look, I said, I've been praying for you all morning. I said, God, God knew you were coming. And I said, all I keep hearing is free and clear free and clear. I said, you're going to be free and clear when those doctors call you. That's what I'm hearing. And she was, she started crying again. Thank you so much, you know, and, and then I told her, uh, 
she was there to do some pressure washing and I told her randomly the day before that God had me thinking about starting a pressure washing business and that the, and he gave me details of what needed to happen. I said, that wasn't for me. That was for you. I said, you need to start this, this business and it's God's going to bless it and he's going to give you purpose and you're going to just, you know, your life is going to be so much better. He's going to bless you. This, this business idea is for you. And so right now she's on her way right now to go buy the equipment. She's starting her own business. I'm so excited. But anyway, so the cool part even more is, um, I found out the, the, some more details today. Um, she got a call within the next couple of days. And um, everybody might not know me. My name's Amber, by the way. Um, the nurse from the doctor's office called, and her name was Amber. And she told her, she said, we got your test results back, and they're free and clear. You're free and clear. And I just thought that was, <laughs> I just thought it was so Jesus. <laughs> that the nurse's name was my name and it was she was saying the same words that God had told me to tell her I just thought it was so amazing and cool how he does things and so I'm just I'm glorifying God right now because I just want to tell you guys if somebody's sick don't just go pray for him it's it's the power of God that's gonna heal him take that chance you know I think about it she's got young children you know, she's trying to start her life over. You know, what if, what if, what if she not ran into somebody that would bring the kingdom to her? And what if she'd gone to that doctor and found out the results that her dad had found out? You know, this world needs us. I just want to encourage you guys. God is awesome. I'm so pumped. He's so awesome. And he wants to do this all over the earth. He wants to glorify himself. He wants to show everybody he's real, he's there, and he cares. So, glory to God. Glory to God. Oh, just once more, I'm just encouraging you. Go lay hands on somebody that's sick and tell them that Jesus loves them, and he's going to touch them right then and there, and it's going to happen. Be blessed.